Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be all of my favorite Amazon purchases that I made last year. I actually thought about doing this video prior to now, but I've seen a lot of people were posting this and so I thought I would jump on board that bandwagon because I didn't realize like I filtered out my orders. I'm like, oh my, I actually placed 58 Amazon orders. I feel like that's a lot. Now mind you, a lot of those things were like, okay, I need this, but I don't feel like running to the store for it. So I'd order like dish soap or, you know, my kids needed something for school. So I just order it. And when you have Amazon Prime and in San Antonio, I can get same day delivery. Sometimes it's just, it's a no brainer. Like I don't have to fight traffic. I don't have to go to Walmart. Like, you know what I mean? So anyways, I picked out the best things that I ordered. Very random. This is actually great because there's a variety of things in here. I love all these things and it's every single thing I'm going to show you totally suits me and my channel and, and what we talk about. So here we go. Um, in no particular order. First thing is this Castile soap. This is what I use to wash my makeup brushes and my beauty sponges. And if I'm feeling really lazy since it's right underneath my bathroom sink, I'll sometimes just wash my sinks with this. You can wash your body with this. Like Castile soap is completely universal it's just like a bland this one is a it's a bland soap but it's a mixture of olive oil coconut oil and coconut butter it's super gentle you can use it in shampoo you can do um basically everything with this so if you're in a pinch and you just want one soap to do everything uh this would be it but i like to use it for my makeup brushes because it's unscented it's gentle and when I'm using anything on my face, it needs to be gentle and I have sensitive skin. So I like to use that. Okay, I don't even know where to go with this. Let's just get kind of some of the stuff out of the way here. This is a dress that I bought. All these things are like super good prices too because, you know, it's Amazon. I want to say this dress was, oh, I'll put prices on the screen. It was inexpensive. It's a cute dress, like spring, summer dress, and it has pockets this style came in a lot of colors, but I kind of liked this, I don't know, how would you describe this? It's like a dull lavender, it's like a purpley blue, but the best part is it has pockets, one on each side. Now keep in mind, it's, it's a little bit more, it's thinner, I mean, what do you expect? It was super inexpensive. Down here, I don't care, it's so hot, I don't care if you can see. <laughs> I do. Um, just be mindful that this is not like a four ply construction dress, um, but it's super easy to throw on. It's great for bumming around in your yard, to throw over a swimsuit going to the pool. I wear it to Walmart. I wear it to the grocery store. I really like the style of it. I just want you to know when I'm recommending you something, you don't get it and be like, oh my gosh, it's so thin. It's thin. It is. It's a little bit more sheer. Um, there's pleating details on the bottom though, so this part's thicker. This is just a little bit more sheer, but just wear a nude bra with it because um, I love this style. I love really easy, simple, um, carefree dresses. And actually, the hanger that it's on, I ordered these from Amazon. These are those velvet, velvet wrapped hangers. They have little like notches for straps and whatnot, silver. These probably came in other colors, but I had redone my closet a few years back and got rid of all the plastic hangers and went to all of these velvet ones which I find really holds your garments on well. Now the black will show dust but I think white would show dust too just as much. Um, I started buying these at Costco but then I ran out and I noticed Amazon sells them so I filled in the gaps uh, with these. So I love these hangers. I love when a closet is like a store where it's all cohesive like all the same hanger color and style instead of before where I had every color of the rainbow plastic hanger that my mom had passed down to me that she probably bought when she first got married you know and like things it, it just looked kind of messy and so now it's all cohesive so really like these hangers all right now let's go to the top of the list so I don't miss anything all right butter dish I know random right so I wanted to update my kitchen so that everything was the same color and my previous butter dish was bright orange, which was fun and stuff. But eventually I want my counter to all just be um, white, like someday, my someday kitchen. I want it to be white and grays and, and just light colors. So I got this butter dish. Okay, so let me just tell you, I was looking at butter dishes for way too long. Like, it's just a butter dish, right? But this one is like, it holds a European style butter stick and our Western style. American butter stick, I didn't know 
the difference, okay? But I watched a video on it, and now I buy European butter. So maybe I should link that video b below or whatever. Anyways, it definitely holds a regular size butter and then like one of those thicker ones, but it's really well made. And I was looking at like even more expensive ones, but this is just, I love the clean lines of it. And it's just, it's so cute and it's really heavy duty made and it's just fantastic. So I was reading this blog on a news article and they were listing ways, like what was the gist of it? It was basically about how you can get inspired or f make your home feel luxurious like on a budget. Like little things that you use every day that you can upgrade or not necessarily upgrade, but like Amazon finds that look luxurious but are inexpensive and just kind of elevate the look of everyday things. And I actually was in need of a new cutting board because my cutting board, my larger cutting board was old too. My mom had passed that down from years ago and it was starting to look really scuzzy and it had questionable black things on it that I couldn't scrub off. I'm hoping it wasn't some sort of gross mold. Who knows? Anyways, so I found, I stumbled upon this blog post or a news article and this cutting board was on there and it's from Amazon. This is why it's cool. It's really heavy, like not crazy heavy, but it's a sturdy cutting board. How good would a charcuterie plate look? Like serve this. It's got handles for you to carry it. It's got a groove all along the outside of it. So when you're cutting things that are super juicy, like say tomatoes, you know how normally it just runs off your cutting board and it's all over your countertop? No, it goes into the groove. It's really beautiful. I actually leave this out on my counter next to my knives because it's easily accessible. It doesn't make any sense for me to put it away when I cut on a cutting board every day of my life. It's just beautiful. I think it would make a great gift maybe. Wrap her up with that butter dish. <laughs> At least give it to somebody who like likes cooking. Otherwise, they might be like, say what? Um, but this is such a beautiful, inexpensive, well-made cutting board. It looks so pretty. Oh, it's heavy. It's, it looks so pretty on your countertop. But just envision that with like some crackers, like a little jam and a little cute little thing and some slices of cheese, a little glass of wine. I mean, Instagram post. Um, but anyways, that is just a lovely cutting board. Okay, along those lines, my um, I use wood utensils a lot. And my wood utensils were also looking very scuzzy. They were starting to crack. You know, you got to update that stuff every so often. And when it's workhorse utensils, I wanted to get some new ones that weren't so awful. So this set I ordered from Amazon. Obviously, Chelsea, it's all from Amazon. And it has hammered copper bottoms. How pretty are those? So if you wanted to store them this way in your utensil holder, maybe you have a copper theme in your kitchen or you want to incorporate some sort of metal. So pretty. And then it comes with, you know, like all these different kinds. This little scraper. This is like a workhorse scooping out kind of spoon. A little spatula. A slotted spoon. And then this is the kind I use constantly. The only thing I'm going to mention this, which doesn't bother me because I will just, I will just re-adhere this bad boy with some Gorilla Glue is I fear that this might come off. If it does, like I just said, super glue or Gorilla Glue, I'll probably glue it on better than it originally came. But I don't care because this whole set was a good price. I loved the color, I loved the concept, and the actual wood part is the same as wood, you, wood materials that you'd find at you know any other retailer. So once again, um, I had all these random colored utensils from all over the place and I wanted my countertop now to just be chrome and white and just really basic because I want the food to be the star of the show and when I get my someday kitchen you know I want it to look different so the aesthetic I was going for so I found these this is another well this doesn't go in there this doesn't go in there either these are like my old ones but this utensil set has gold so pretty and elegant looking. So silicone is what I prefer to use in my pans and the white to me just looks so pretty and there is just something about updating such basic simple things like this that absolutely makes you excited and inspired to get in the kitchen. Like I don't know what it is about getting a new spoon but I can't wait to cook with it. So and so far 
I've actually used, uh, let's see, this one, and I've made a couple um, like spaghetti red sauce based dishes. No staining so far. However, I don't let it sit either. Like I don't let the stain sit on this overnight and do my dishes the next day. I'm washing my dishes right away, so that would probably help and prevent staining from happening because that was a thought that crossed my mind. Um, but I do my dishes right away. So I don't think for me that's gonna be an issue, but it comes with a nice spoon. Love the gold. It's different too, and it's really pretty and elegant. And this has like, if you wanted to, I've seen this at Ikea, where you can buy things to like hang your utensils. I can't do that because I have a tile backsplash, but if you have that ability, that would be kind of fun. Um, uh, whisk, another like spatula, some tongs, and this is a set, mind you. Um, a little spatula and then a slotted spoon. And then of course, to put all these beautiful utensils in, I got this little almost like a farmhouse chic style it says utensils on it it has let's see if you can see that little beading or like raised little raised ledge here it's very simple it's stoneware um i would say it kind of gives that farmhouse chic vibe that's not necessarily what i'm going for but i wanted something that was just basic and plain i had a wire a wire one before but i really like the white an event oh, just hit myself in the head and eventually when I get a white like countertop I think that this would just blend in and not stand out so much um, but until then I thought it was just very pretty oh I think this is one of the coolest finds so I was at Williams Sonoma and I was looking at their marble salt holders and they were much more expensive and I found one on Amazon for like way cheaper and it's just as good I actually think it's better honestly so this is a salt holder I prefer ever since I bought one earlier this year I love having this on my counter because when I'm cooking you just take the lid off there's your salt I season everything just with my fingers and I love having this and it's so pretty it's so pretty and elegant and like I said like if you want to inspire yourself in the kitchen, maybe get some new utensils. Maybe get a new pan. Like, update some of the things that need updating, and it just makes your kitchen exciting to go into once again. You know, you get excited about a new blush. You can't wait to wear it. It's the same thing. But isn't this beautiful? Oh, I love it. And it is marble. It's just fantastically well made and a good price. Are you ready for the randoms? Next, I want to talk about a water fountain that I bought for my cats. So we were reading about how to encourage our cat Elsa to drink more water. Uh, she just does, she just doesn't like to drink a lot of water. She is fed uh, wet food, so she does get most of her moisture from there anyways. But we we're trying to find a way to get her to drink more. And so, so many people were saying a cat water fountain, and a lot of vets recommended even this specific one. I love this specific one because A, it's white. It is so quiet. It is quiet. You can't hear it. It doesn't make hardly any noise. Um, it's ceramic. So once again, the whole white theme, it's just clean. It's simple. It doesn't stand out in a room. It's not like some colorful, over-the-top, crazy situation. And actually, if you, if you have nothing on in your house and you're just like, when I'm laying in, in the couch like reading, it's such a peaceful sound because all you hear is a little bit of water dripping. Um, and, and the slow drip like that, like she likes to play in my sink with the water when I put it on. Um, she, she's not overly excited about it, but it is intriguing her more to go to drink out of the water fountain, um, to drink more water. And so that was kind of the whole point. So if you're looking for a water fountain for your animals, my dog will drink out of this, no problem. It's really easy to clean. Um, and I love that it's just simple and white. These pajamas. So my husband bought me these pajamas for Christmas. These were on Oprah's list of her favorite things last year. They're wonderful, super buttery soft. They come in lots of colors. They come with uh, pants that are the same idea and they have like the white pinstriping on them. So comfortable. Like I love these so much, I think I wanna order a second color. There's like a pretty seafoam, seafoam green that I kinda of have my eye on, but this color is beautiful. Cute little pocket. They're like, oh my gosh, so soft. I think he said they were made out of bamboo. Either way, they feel really amazing on your body. They, it feels like you're getting a hug. And they're not too thick. I don't like a thick jammy. Um, I, I get, I'm very hot at nighttime. Like I have my fan on high. 
Like my husband's got covers up to here. I'm sleeping on top of the covers because I'm always so hot. And so I can't have a really thick pajama to sleep in. And these are not that. These are just wonderful to sleep in. Look at this planner that I found. I love this. So this is my 2020 planner. Bought this off of Amazon. I think there were other patterns, but I personally really like the color scheme of this one. I like a simple planner. This has, let's just kind of go into this because I know you're going to want to see. It has the play-by-play -play of the entire month outlook, okay? It also has the day-by-day, -day, so you can like write in for the day what you're going to do. Everything is tabulated out over here. I really like it. I don't like a huge planner. Last year I bought a bigger one and I just felt like it took up too much of my counter space or my desk space. I wanted something small. I also wanted something small enough that I could fit into my handbag if I was going someplace where I needed to take notes or to write down future dates. I wanted something small enough to be able to slip into any of my handbags that I'm carrying. So this to me is ideal. I actually really, really like this one. Um, and then to close it, it has a nice little thing there. So this planner, definitely recommend. I'm already in, I'm using it and enjoying it a lot. My Nespresso pods, I order all of these off of Amazon. The particular grouping of the ones that I ordered um, are all like I like a darker roast coffee so I'll link this specific one that I ordered I I think I ordered another one in the past I'll link the two that I bought in the in the past uh, but this retailer it sends it quick uh, so it's a great place to buy these because if you try to buy them in the store you're probably gonna pay more Amazon has a great price on those these washcloths these are the washcloths I use to wash my face they are white they have, okay, so these are really used, um, but they have one side that is kind of a closer knit, like a, a tighter weave, and then this side is fluffier. Looks like so. If you hang them up to dry, all of them have a little thing to hang, which is actually really nice. I probably should get... Maybe I should get something to hang these on. Um, I only use my washcloths once when I'm talking about makeup because after one use, you know, this looks pretty gross. They are white. I don't bleach these. I don't use any bleach in my house. Um, but you could if you needed to. But I don't know. These are really highly used, and I don't think they're that incredibly stained. I've used these all year because I bought these early in the spring. After a while, you're going to have to throw them out and buy a new set. But they're inexpensive. They're very, very soft, very gentle on the skin. I don't like a coarse, like, you know, like you can buy those washcloths at, you know, any retailer. I don't like those. These are like, oh, microfiber. That's the keyword. These are microfiber. So they have that built in, um, is that antibacterial? I don't know. I love these. These are wonderful. I originally got these, uh, recommendation from Stephanie Nicole here on YouTube. Um, she's the one who pointed these out to me and ever since I've been hooked. Are you ready for another random one? Okay, but the reason I'm recommending this is because once again, it's super quiet. This humidifier. This is an amazing humidifier. I'll tell you why. My last one was really noisy and I had to throw it away because it just got really gross and corroded in the filter. Like, it was old. It was one I had bought when my kids were babies, and it just was used too much. So, it's a time of year. It's dry in most most climates here. Um, colds, uh, maybe you have plants, and in the winter you need to kind of keep a humidifier to keep them happy. This humidifier is so quiet. This particular one, I wouldn't say this is meant for a huge room. But I don't think most of us would probably put it in a huge room. You'd probably put it in a bedroom or wherever you specifically need it. The dial on it, this whole area is minimum to maximum. So you can really control how much pumps out. You can direct the stream to where you want it. This whole thing is directional. It moves to 360 to whatever. So wherever you're sitting this, maybe you have to face it a direction you don't want to because that's the only space you have. You can direct the steam. This fills up this whole thing. And this whole thing filled will last a very long time. Like, we're talking days. Like, it really holds a lot of water. Um, it's really easy to use. It's easy to clean. It just sets on this. It plugs into the wall. It's quiet. Big selling feature for me is when things are quiet. I don't, I don't like a lot of noise. And I don't want to hear, like, all these things running in my house. Um, but I love all those different, like the directional feature, the fact that it's quiet, it's easy to change, it's got the handle, it's white, 
it's sleek, it doesn't look obviously like a humidifier. It's just a really good one. I mean, leaps and bounds better than the one that I had. Um, it also comes in black if white isn't your fancy. I think it might even come in like a chrome color, but I'm kind of into white right now. See a theme. Um, another random thing is these doormats that I ordered from my front entrance and my back entrance. So I'm going to show you the one that I it's the same one, but it's just a different color. My front entrance. They're by this brand. I think it's called Gorilla. Either way, they don't slide around. They're really well made. They collect the dirt and the grass and all that stuff. And they look really nice. Like they have some great colors and patterns within this brand. Um, you can buy different sizes too. So if the size that I have is not conducive to your enjoy, even though the size that I have is pretty standard, but they do have other sizes. They have other colors and patterns. They're just really good doormats. Even my friend Cheryl in comments, she's like, where'd you get your doormat? I love it. I'm like, Amazon. I ordered two of them. I have my backyard one is a little bit more, um, it's like a green color and it kind of matches the whole outdoor nature garden kind of thing. And then my front one, I just wanted it to match my front way patio. But they're really good. They're heavy duty. They don't slide around. They're really made well and they actually hold dirt. So you know that those ones, those cute ones you can get at Target that are like that straw, but they don't actually do anything other than collect like fuzzies <laughs> like I don't buy those anymore because they slide around there just they don't really perform um, these look good but they're also functional so this was the year this last year of all my small appliances biting the dust well a lot of the things that I had I've had for 10 years we've been married for 10 years I bought a lot of things when we got married that first year um, and so it was time to update them or they were just busted and no longer working so my coffee maker bit the dust and of course I got to go on Amazon and I'm like reading blogs and reviews whenever we go to buy appliances i always check reviews like you know like the consumer like what is the website it's like a consumer website um where they people review appliances so i found this coffee maker and it had fantastic reviews and i love it i'll tell you why first of all it's programmable you can choose if you want to make a small amount of coffee or a large amount of coffee um it's digital it has a no filter, so it's a filterless thing, so you don't have to buy the coffee filters. And I think a lot of coffee makers have gone in that direction. I love that the water dispenser, you can completely take off the machine. You don't have to bring the machine to the water. You can bring the water container to the water. Um, love that aspect of it. Um, it's just a really nice coffee maker. Once again, when it's brewing, it's really quiet. So when I set it to auto, I literally wake up to the smell of coffee. Like, I don't hear the machine, you know, burb, gurgling out there. Blah, blah, you know, my old one, it was so loud when it was making coffee. This one's quiet. I love just the black and the chrome. It's very simple looking. And it's just a really good coffee maker. Um, it also keeps your coffee warm, but it doesn't boil it. So, like, as it's sitting on the burner, it's not so high that now your coffee just tastes terrible and that's one of the reasons why I gravitate towards my Keurig or my espresso machine because I like the flavor of fresh brewed coffee and not like coffee sitting on a burner but this one's really good the last thing is my toaster so my toaster also bit the dust um, and I knew I wanted another four slice toaster and this one it has very classic almost like a retro feel to it but reading reviews they were saying this one's really great you can control the temperature on it it has the bagel setting it has a reheat setting I can't remember what other settings that it has but it toasts really well you know how some toasters like number one is like bread <laughs> and setting three is inedible burnt toast that you're throwing in the trash no this one you can really control the settings on it it toasts both sides evenly I think it's a great toaster and I just really like the simplistic lines of it so those are all my favorite Amazon purchases of this last year. I had another whole bunch of random things. We ordered a lot of Christmas gifts. I ordered birthday gifts. I ordered, you know, things for the house off of Amazon. I ordered a lot of, like, dishwashing soap and just, like, random things from Amazon. But these are, like, good things that I felt were worthy of sharing and that other stuff is just, like, okay, we all use this stuff. I don't need to share it kind of thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what some of your favorite Amazon purchases are. Welcome if you are new. Please subscribe. Would love to have you here. Like this video. It really helps out my channel and I cannot wait to chat with you guys soon. Very soon. Have a great day and we'll see you.